I I know I messed up with the internet a little bit. And of course, too. But. So I messed up with it. It's, it's all good. You are still learning how to play your finger style. Change your baby. Years late. I'm sorry for my subscribers and all that. But we're back out here again. Because I've been out of YouTube for a good while. Now I'm gonna. <clears throat> now I'm gonna teach you how to play this shit. My bad for my language. Get used to it. Alright. So we're gonna look at this as bars. You know, in recent notes, this, this bar is a section. So we're gonna go to the base. The base is on loop once, and that's gonna be one bar because you don't have to, you don't understand when you hear the song. You don't understand that it's important to know which how many bars in this goes, which bars. You know, not not. I don't wanna get you y'all confused. So let's just start it off. So, mommy and Bob, the first bar, and um, so after the intro, that was my other video. So, we're going to do this. So, Death Fred, A string. He dumb, he dumb, he's doing this all day, all the time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then open A. One, two, three, four, five, six. First fret. First fret E, low E string. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then third fret G string. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 All right. Now let's get into the first verse. All right. So the um, verse one. It starts off a little different, finger, the finger style, but then afterwards it's repeat, it's repetitive, but it's different. So what I mean by that is, so in the first section, you want to have your third finger in the uh, high, on the third fret, high E string. Hold on, give me a second. Alright, so third fret, high E string. Do this. All right, third fret high E string, and then you know first bass note of the loop. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna pluck them, you gonna pluck them twice. You gonna pluck it once. One, two, three, and then hit again. Then one, two. So one, two, three, and then hit it again twice. Hit both of them again, and then one, two. So one, two. So one, one, two, three, one, two, one, and then you're gonna hit, you pluck that, the fifth fret, the high E string once, and then you plug it again, but slightly. So after, you, after, so after you hit it once, you're gonna plug the A string the same time and then slide this. You're gonna plug the low E string. That's when you start coming. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So after do one, two, three, then go back here first fret fifth fret E string. One, two, one, two. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So on fast motion at this. One two three one two then one two three one two or you can do one two three on this one depending on how you how you hear the song. Do you want to do or one two? Either way, it still sounds the same. we go like I said the loop after the low A string it goes to this one but it can be the same note but it's gonna be on it's an octave higher only for this first loop around that's it and then the rest will be right here so right now it's gonna be the third fret D string and then you have your pinky on 
the same place, the first phrase, I think, you need the same thing, one, two, three, one, two, or one, two, three, one, two, three, depending on how you hear the, do the song. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So one, two, three, one, two. Then you're gonna hit this once, the highest string. And then you're gonna move your, as soon as you pluck it, you're gonna plug the low third fret G string. Low third fret G string, which is the G note, the last bass of the loop. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So as soon as you plug that once, you're gonna plug this. That loop is me diff that loop is the first loop and that's the only loop that's gonna be different in the verse. Not the pre-chorus of course, but in the verse. It's gonna be diff that's the only thing that's gonna be different. So on uh, slow, you play it slow. So in the song, that one first plays, and then this part I'm about to play comes in afterwards. So it's almost the same thing, but it's a little different. So here, I'm gonna play it off, and then I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna do this same thing. Third fret, third fret, A and E string. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and then you go back to here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then right back here. And then you open it, put that once, both of them. Okay, I'm just gonna say switch bass to the next bass, so I don't have to keep saying it. So C A F G, remember that. So switch off to A, and then you're gonna pl play this once. One, two, three, and then you'll play open E string. One, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two. So you know how you go back, if you only practice once and then string first fret one two three one two and after two one two three one two one two three one two and then you plug both of them same time and slide it to the third fret or you do this doesn't matter but I rather use my thumb for me it's easier whatever's easier for you you can do it so one two three one two this once by itself put this once by itself after you slide you put this one by itself so you don't 
should pluck it twice by twice together with the D string at three sides. And then twice bass. That's the only thing that's a little different at the end of the verse. <coughs> And then you only want to pluck it twice. You only pluck both of them once. Right here, you pluck twice. Both of them. And then bass twice. And then. Show the pre chorus, but then after that, I go to the, ver the verse. The one I just showed you, the main verse, the main guitar verse. So, I'm gonna show you the pre chorus, and after that, you see, and it goes back to the regular verse, and then pre chorus again, and then we're going to the chorus. So, let me show you the pre chorus. All right, so we have part one, part two, the verse. Part two is the main one, and the first one is the only one that's different, like I said before. Like I said before, mm -hmm. so now we're gonna. Sorry guys. My bad guys, I had to charge up my iPad. <laughs> Before it dies on me. Alright. So now we got the third verse. Alright. I mean, the pre chorus. It's technically, I don't know why I'm calling it pre chorus, even though the verse comes after it, but I call it pre chorus, but it sounds like a pre chorus. Alright. Uh, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna play off you, and then I'm gonna show you. you here so one two three one two three one two three one two three or one two three one two um, again i don't know which is better depending on how you hear the song one two three or one two one two three one two or one two three one two three depending uh i'm not the best teacher can't pinpoint exactly but so it's one two three one two or one two three one three right or one two three so one two three one two one two three one two and then put this once the bass twice actually never mind just plug this once when you go back to it plug it once together and then you're gonna do open A and then open U you're gonna do that one two three First fret B string. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Got 
that's the Gozo Sophie. loops around first verse again and then that pre-chorus I showed you and that's pre-chorus oops my bad I forgot one part of the pre-chorus alright so the pre-chorus is, is not even done yet so after that it's let me try that one time let me try that so it's gonna be like a C chorus chord First fret, uh, B string, third fret, A string, which I see the same note, uh, it's just uh, octaves, and third fret, B string. So, one, two, three, one, two, and then plus the, the third fret, B string by itself, and then play again with the A string, and slide it. Same thing with the beginning again. Which I already know. And now I'm gonna go back to the verse again. messing up on that part I don't know why because I haven't like played a song in a long time <laughs> especially that finger style but it's a little get confused sometimes alright okay, but let's start it off so the first the first half goes is opposite string high and low string A fret so we go one two three one two same pattern one and then go back to this once after you put that one together, and then we'll pull 10th ten, ten, ten fret high string with the A, the A note. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, one, two, three. And then we got, and then we got first fret, which is the F note, the A fret. A string and then the high E string 12th fret. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So you're gonna plug this twice. But 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Same pattern. You know them together and then the bass twice. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then plug this once by itself. Open G string and uh, and then the A fret A fret um high string. So I'm sorry, guys. Now the chorus. We sound something like this. Alright, I must 
for a little bit there, it's been cool. I haven't played this since then in a while, so I gotta look a few to make it, but it was cool. Still on a TGL. Alright, so we're gonna start off same pattern, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, depending. Um, so we'll start off with opposite strings, the opposite, opposite E strings, A fret. So we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. And then just two frets up with the, with the high string, 10th fret. Play this once. fret of the A string uh, and the 12th fret of the high E string. One, two, three, one, two, and then play this once. Twice them. Both notes twice. Once. Both notes once. Both notes once. My bad, guys. And then open, low, open. A string, high D. So one two three one two one two three one two. My bad, guys. So after, and then back to this one, but not. I said low B A string. I meant high G string. C string. You do that twice. Don't play this note twice. Not twice in a row, but you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. Play this once. Play this once, the 10th fret uh, E string. And then low A string with this note. With the A fret E string. So one, two, three, one, two. And then open A string. One, two, three, one, two. And then we'll do A fret again, which is the F note. A fret, uh, A string. And then we'll do 10th fret here, the I string. One, two, three, one, two. And then we play this once. And then batch this note, but with the, the high G string. So from the beginning, beginning of the chorus, and then we'll go to the third part of the chorus. Dumb here so you can move these faster. Do here is not gonna be as fast, smoother too. So low E, low e string, A fret, and then we're gonna do is A fret, B string. We're gonna do is we're gonna plug everything, every note with the bass note. So one, then 10th fret, B, B string, with the bass note, then high E string, 10th fret, then A fret. And then high E string, 10th fret by itself once, and then and then open A with the A fret E string. And then the final part, which is so the 
five note, which is the A fret. You ever, you ever been doing this the A fret? A string, high E, 12 fret. So, one, two, three, one, two, and then by itself, the 15th fret at the high E string, real quick. And then back to this note, but with the G string. So slowly. play the whole song just once though every part just once okay so slowly So that's the song. There is a solo too. Kind of like, like the saxophone solo, but I didn't really get to learn it. I only know a little bit, but you know, if you want to learn it, I could post another video. But I mean, I don't really know it that much because I don't know. I did everything by ear. Um. So thank you for watching. Um. Hope you enjoy and hope it was worth the wait. But three years is a long time for real. It's too long. I'm sorry for that. But about the video to y'all. And any questions, anything, like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual. And uh, uh, I'm also going to be posting videos with my music. A lot of people like my music. I'm going to start doing that on YouTube. So hopefully I could put an actual, instead of just a video of me playing, I could just put an actual song. But y'all let me know. And thank you for watching. Bye.